Accountants define cost in terms of actual monetary payments for resources or inputs used in the production of goods and services. These are called the explicit cost of production. But for an economist, cost is more than just the actual money exchanged during the production of a good or service. Implicit costs are usually estimated to be the revenues a business could have made operating in the next best industry. Simply put, implicit cost is the money a business could have made if it were doing something else. The following example illustrates some of the difference between the cost as considered by an accountant and the cost as considered by an economist. Suppose you run your own business and your total revenue from the business is 80,000 rand while your total explicit cost is 35,000 rand. Consider also that if you did not work for yourself, you could have earned maybe 50,000 rand working for another company. In the accountant's calculation, the cost of production includes only the explicit costs of 35,000 rand. When they calculate the profit of the business, it will look like this. Profit equals total revenue less total cost. So, 80,000 rand less 35,000 rand equals a profit of 45,000 rand. Economists, on the other hand, calculate things slightly differently. The economist will also include the implicit cost. That's the opportunity cost of being self-employed. If you didn't run your own business and work for someone else, you might have earned 50,000 rand. Now this represents the opportunity cost of being self-employed. The economist's cost calculation is therefore explicit cost plus implicit cost. So 35,000 Rand plus 50,000 Rand, equaling now a total cost of 85,000 Rand. So when they calculate profit, they'll do it as follows. Profit equals total revenue less the explicit costs and less implicit costs. So that's 80,000 Rand minus 35,000 Rand minus 50,000 Rand. That equals minus 5,000 Rand, or a loss of 5,000 Rand. As economists see things, you are in fact losing money by running your own business. You'd be better off financially selling your labour to another firm. What, however, is not included in this calculation is the benefit or satisfaction you derive from running your own business. Now, if this satisfaction is worth more to you than 5,000 Rand, Keep on running your own business. This example illustrates the implicit costs of a self-employed resource. That's you, the business owner. In many cases, however, your firm might also own the land, buildings or the machinery that is used in the production of your product. These are called self-owned resources. And according to economists, these costs must be included since we are, after all, interested in all the uses that are made of our scarce resources. So, while the definition of profit as the difference between total revenues and total costs is pretty straightforward, accountants and economists still arrive at different estimates of what it's worth. This is because accountants only consider explicit costs, whereas economists consider both explicit and implicit costs. A good example of an implicit cost is the opportunity cost of self-employment. That is, the amount of money you might have made working for someone else. Now, in calculating your economic profit, economists deduct that possible salary from your total profit. Consider the following example. Assume you're a mechanic and you run your own repair business from a small workshop on your property. Initially, you spent 50,000 Rand to buy tools and equipment and after your first year, your total revenue was 230,000 Rand. And your total explicit cost was 120,000 Rand. An accountant would do the following calculation. Profit equals total revenue minus total cost. So that's 230,000 Rand minus 120,000 Rand, leaving a fine profit of 110,000 Rand. An economist, on the other hand, wants to know more than this when calculating profit. How much could you have earned if you'd worked as a mechanic for someone else? This gives us an indication of the opportunity cost of working for yourself. Let's assume you could have earned a salary of 60,000 Rand. 
Now, remember that initial 50,000 Rand that you invested to buy tools and machinery? If you'd put it into a savings account at the bank instead, how much could you have earned in interest? This lost interest is the opportunity cost of that first capital investment you made in your business. Let's assume you could have earned 10% per year, so interest would have been 5,000 Rand. The final thing the economist wants to know is, how much could you have earned if renting your workshop out to someone else? Let's assume you could have earned 1,500 Rand a month in rent. That would have given you 18,000 Rand per year. So, explicit costs, all your monetary payments, come to 120,000 Rand. Implicit costs include the opportunity cost of working for yourself, that's 60,000 Rand, plus the interest lost investing in equipment instead of saving, that's 5,000 Rand, plus the rent you could have earned in the year renting to someone else, that was 18,000 Rand. In other words, your implicit cost equals 83,000 Rand. So your total costs, explicit and implicit, amount to 203,000 Rand. The profit calculation is now total revenue minus total cost, that's explicit plus implicit costs, that's 230,000 Rand minus 203,000 Rand equals 27,000 Rand. Part of the implicit cost is the opportunity cost of being self-employed, and this implies that in the calculation of costs by an economist, normal profits are included. Profit is the reward for entrepreneurial ability, and since we wish to calculate the opportunity cost of producing goods and services, it must form part of the calculation of the economic cost of doing business. In other words, from an economic point of view, when total revenue is equal to total cost, it does not mean that the firm is not making a profit. It means it's making a normal profit only. What about the case where total revenue exceeds total cost, as in the example above? Well, in this case, an economist will say the business is not only making a normal profit, but also an economic profit which is the additional return to the entrepreneur over and above the minimum payment required to keep the owner's entrepreneurial abilities self-employed.